which is our course class. Uva Vanyo Luis Balo no Luaz Luis Science Loba Fundi Trends in International Mathematics and Science Study. Liku Pain Lozokba, Mkanga to his fundo Zesbalo in Mathematics Ugucho, Quiz Golo Zasem Zanz Africa, Jangoye now says Zanzi, Taktelegiswa Namanya Mazwe, Aba Fundi, Bes Golo, Samabanga Pagamile, M. Shukan Tambo, Pakolokba, Isiseka Banisoku, Kukungo Pala, Quizin Tozok Funda, Es Golweni, Pakoak Tebisokba, Winni Queen Mala Sela, Queen Lelo. I think the reason why most kids won't choose maths as a subject because maths is difficult, but only if you understand it, it can be good. Like you could like it, and like it needs you to understand it for you to like maths. But I think the reason why they don't choose maths, maybe it's the lack of resources, having to not have textbooks. It, it, it does discourage you. Uguti, how can I study? What can I use to study? Because you don't have the resources, so it can discourage them to not choose maths. I think sometimes it's the type of teachers we get. Sometimes we may feel demotivated of the type of teacher we get the teaching maths. The, there may be learners who perform the, the best in, in the class and then the teacher starts focusing more on them and then uh, they feel neglected and then they, 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 they have no motivation on studying or practicing the maths so that they can pass because they feel like they're more neglected and that they're not the, the, the attention is not more on them. I personally think that the decline in people doing math and science is because of we all don't adapt in the same teaching style. Teachers have different types of teaching styles and like they don't accommodate all of us. So I, I'm thinking that if learners can be given a chance to choose like their teachers, it can be much better and improve the, the number of people doing math and science. Ui tumeleng mahuale nongo mfundi sinza po kwe siskolo. Ukaeka ba fundi sinza po ngo kuba ngongo. Esi tilo onto yenza lukeli ma ukuba ba fundi bakele ungeto. I think the first issue is mathematics was not made attractive enough initially. Because in the olden days, uh, we used to know math teachers as the tough teachers within the school environment. So it was difficult for learners to get to interact with the learners and it was difficult for them to ask questions. So from there on it has been that trend whereby even when we tried to change it wasn't easier for, for, for learners to change because they got that conception from their parents as well. So even when we try and introduce technology, because we're trying to introduce technology to make maths more attractive to the learners, but at the same time, as a government, we can't maintain that technology because maybe let's say learners are given tablets, for example. When they're given tablets, five of them are broken at the end and we're out of 20. And we don't have the finances or the capacity to fix those tablets. And learners find it more interesting when they learn it through the new technology. <laughs> Na yoyo tu kazi kamo zemi tebe ikiale ngo kwa ke, dingu vyo kazi kafile, wenda bazi SABC, ekhautini. Ugo kovu la banzi lomba sikuweke u Thomas Hagspiel osuga kumbuto is South African Mathematics Foundation. Good morning Thomas and welcome to the show. It's lovely to be with you. Thank you so much. Today we celebrate uh, International Mathematics Day and uh, the numbers are saying that there's a lot of dropping in mathematics to mathematical literacy. Is there a crisis with mathematics in South Africa? And you know, what do you have to say about that? You know, the crisis in mathematics education in South Africa has been there for a long time. And I think um, this will only be one conversation of many that are held in yes. terms of, you know, people dropping either from maths to maths literacy or, or just generally the, the maths marks in South, in South Africa. Yes. I mean, you would have seen after the matric results were released, there's always an uproar about how poor the maths results are. Yes. So if, there's, if you want to know, is there a crisis? Well, yeah, there is. And within that crisis, what is it that we are getting wrong with mathematics in South Africa? 
Again, it's a multifaceted answer. Yes. You know, you could ask about teachers, you could ask about the schools. Is there a difference between private schools and government schools? Um, and so there's not a quick answer to this. Yes. And I think so many people just want, oh, just give me a quick answer. Well, there isn't just a quick answer to this. Yeah. And there are calls from all corners that are saying that perhaps we should use our home languages in South Africa uh, to teach yeah. mathematics. Do you think that that could be something uh, that could assist? I know there's quite a lot of research about this thing about home languages, and, um, but in my opinion, that's not going to change much because many kids at my school learn kids in their home language, in English, and they still struggle yes. and they still fail. So, um, uh, you know, whether you're learning in your home language or another language, um, you know, mathematics is just not so easy. And some learners are saying that besides the subject, Educators, you know, teachers within the schools uh, may also be the problem in teaching and relaying the, mes the message of the subject. What's your take on that? What do you think about educators being the problem in teaching the subject? One always needs to be quite careful, you know, to nail other teachers because I'm a teacher myself. That's <laughs> yes. Um, but I do know that some teachers, I mean, they don't spend time on task and... Um, and on the whole, it's, but again, it's very easy for a pupil to blame the teacher, isn't it? Is it? As soon as she's not doing her homework or that kind of thing, then suddenly it's the teacher's fault because she's not producing the goods. Um, yeah. But I know that in certain schools there are, there are massive issues with teacher because I've taught in one of those schools. Yes. And so I, I do understand that for, for some children that will be an issue. But I think children mustn't look for excuses. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they've, in, in, particularly with every all the technology that's yes. available there's so much out there yes and so i would urge children if you haven't got the best teachers um yeah they need to somehow make a plan yes i mean we were talking about the tablets there yes um yeah it's all there in in south africa there is the public education system as well as the private education system and the numbers between the two education systems are not necessarily uh, quite close in mathematics and science would you say that there's a problem there and what are some of the solutions uh, that we can use as learners um, the kids at home and teachers as well in the public education system so that we get to that level you know there's some really excellent public schools out there I mean, I teach in a private school, so I'm lucky, and we have the resources, we have great teachers, we have all of that. Yes. But I was called once to do a, um, a workshop at a rural school called Sibu Sisiwe in Umbumbulo in, in KZN. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, that workshop was, for me, totally inspirational. Yes. So these children were on task, they were working hard, they asked the right questions, they come to school every Saturday, um, Sunday mornings they're there. So... You know, there's some schools out there that have got very little and that are doing a great job. And I think it's the people that are involved. As well. So would you say that uh, with the resources, there need to be, you know, a betterment of resources in some public schools? Or do you think we need to merge the two? Yeah, merging the two schools is going to be very difficult, obviously. But um, in terms of resources, I mean, if, when I hear that schools in certain areas of our country don't have textbooks. Yes. I mean, that's just devastating. How, yes. how can that possibly be? So those are things that obviously government needs to sort out. Yes. There's some kids at home that find mathematics, just like me, as a dreadful <laughs> subject. Is there any tip uh, or advice that you would give to them to tackle the subject? Mathematics is not a spectator sport. <laughs> you've got to actually do it and you've got to work at it yes. um, and work hard at it. And nowadays with technology, I mean, I see these kids, they sit there with their cell phone next to them. And every time they're trying to work out a problem, the thing goes bing, and then they're distracted, and they read their, how many likes they've got. Um, with mathematics, you've got to sit and work at it. All right. Thank you so much, Thomas, for being with us on Kids News. The